Okay guys, so uh, my name is Ashante. This is my first YouTube blog, video blog. And um, so just so you know, I'm not a professional this. I don't sit home and make videos like all day, every day. I do have a life, so I will not be editing or cutting or slicing, splicing, dicing, whatever you YouTube video gurus do, I will not be doing that. So what you see is what you're gonna get. Um, anyway, uh, the purpose of this video is that I, um, have decided to get Invisalign. And so I want to kind of take you guys through my journey. And so you can see like the, um, I guess the transition of my teeth. Um, I have been thinking about getting Invisalign for probably like the past two to three years. I might've seen four, three or four, maybe five, um, specialists in this kind of getting their opinions and weighing out my options and, you know, Visalign versus braces, the price and whatnot. Um, a, a few places, just talk about the price real quick. A few places, um, the braces and the Invisaligns were the same. And a couple of places I went to, the Invisalign was more expensive and the brace, the traditional braces was, uh, were, was cheaper. Um, but overall, I've decided to go with Invisalign. It's a little bit more work, but I think for like the cosmetic appeal of it, um, you don't have, you know, braces on your mouth. Now, they do have clear braces that you can use now, but those are a lot more sensitive than the metal bracelets. I've had friends who've had clear braces and would have to go back to the dentist to get them replaced because they bit down on something or eating something they probably shouldn't have been eating and the little, you know, brace, I guess, uh, behind the wire would chip off or fall off and they have to go get it replaced. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. So <laughs> I just decided to do the Visalign. So I went yesterday, um, to, to another place to get a, um, a, uh, opinion and, um, come to find out I have orthodontal insurance. I've had the same insurance since 2006. All these other dentist offices I've been to, no one has ever told me that I have orthodontal insurance. So that right there sold me. I was like, uh, where do I sign up? Yes. Okay. Because it brought my price down tremendously. I went from having to, um, from $6,000 to coming out of pocket like two grand. So that is what sold me. That was actually cheaper than like the traditional braces that I was looking at at my own dental office. So <laughs> praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick, I guess, view of my teeth. Um, everyone's always like, oh, you have such a pretty smile. Oh, and I'm like, mm, thanks. They look like little chiclets, but thank you. <laughs> um, so up close, you can see I kind of have like spaces in between, you know, like each one of my teeth. And like I said, for as long as I can remember, my teeth have always been like this. I think my baby teeth fell out and another set of baby teeth came. <laughs> my, my dentist has assured me that these are my adult teeth, but I, mm, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I've had them for as long as I can remember and I do remember my teeth falling out. Uh, so um, I know with my last cleaning, um, which was probably like in January or December, because um, my next cleaning is due in, in June, um, my dentist pointed out that my bottom row is shifting. And so, excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, like I said, I'm not editing that out. So, oh, well, deal with it. We're all adults. Um, <laughs> that He told me that my row was shifting. And so when I was probably about 10 or 11, I got a molar, um, actually it's on this side, uh, extracted due to a cavity. And at that time they were trying to encourage me to put like a bridge there or some, something there to close up that space. Cause over time they were, I re and I remember them telling me this over time, my teeth will start to shift. And I'm like, no, you guys are all quacks. You just want me to spend money in here and I'm not doing it. If I was 10, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm like, I'm not spending my money. But <laughs> Anyway, I did think they were trying to get some money out of my parents. So I was like, mm, no, I'm good. Um, so I get down. So, um, I just kind of ignored it and sure enough, <laughs> they're shifting. So I don't know if you can see, but, uh, like this tooth right here should the, like, uh, uh, uh like this, this is how it should be aligned, I think. I don't know. But 
they're not lined up that way. There you go. They're kind of going this way. So, um, I'm trying to entertain my dog because she wants me to play with her. And if I don't, she's going to start barking. So, I'm, I'm petting her right now. Um, that's probably all the jingling that you hear too. You're not going crazy. So, anyway. So that really, really seriously got me thinking about doing something uh, to fix this because I don't want like my whole gum line shifting and I'll be walking around looking like this. <laughs> so anyway, I'm getting it done. I'm excited. Now, past that, let's talk about the the fitting process. So yesterday, I, like I said, I went yesterday. They have to take impressions of your teeth. Okay. So they have to take two impressions, one at the top or two Two for each, I guess, row of teeth. So they do one that lasts two minutes and they do the second impression, which is a little bit firmer uh, for five minutes. All right, let's talk about this for a minute. The two minute impression was fine. This girl that was doing my five minute one, I wanted to punch her in the throat. So the dentist started out, she got the, the little mold together, put the clay and stuff in there, whatever goes in there. She got all that together and she started pushing down for probably like a minute. And I don't know what happened, but she walked out. And so the little assistant came and replaced her. This chick uh, was pushing down so hard that, like I said, I wanted to punch her in the throat. Like I literally wanted to reach back, grab her head and body slam her to the ground. Like I was shaking. I was... I was just in so much pain. Now, when the dentist did my my first impression, she uh, it was fine. The second impression, like I said, she ended up having to leave. But before she put the the trays in, she put like these little cotton tubes in between my gum line and my mouth. I guess for um, what is it called for to to dry out my mouth and to I guess provide a little bit of cushion. Because, like I said, they have to really push down on the on the second set, which, la which they're supposed to keep in place for five minutes. Okay, so when she left, homegirl took over. I don't know what happened, but they messed it up. So they had to do the bottom row a third time. Like, I can't, I can't even explain how, like, bad it hurt. Homegirl didn't put the cotton balls in there. Even before she was about to put the tray in, I was like, um, can you put those cotton balls back in? I want to tell you how to do your job, but the dentist had those cotton balls in there. She was like, oh, you really don't need them. It's okay. This is my mouth. So anyway, I went with it. You know, no one cause any commotion. It's my first time at the office. Try to make a good impression. Whatever. Body slam. That, that. Five minutes, I visualized body slamming her to the floor. <laughs> so anyway, then when they got when she pulled it out, it still wasn't right. I said, mm -mm, no, 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 no. I can't. I cannot go through this again. Um, do you guys have any times tomorrow? Because I'll be back tomorrow. I can't. I can't go back through this today. So <laughs> the dentist was like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "No," but I didn't want to be the angry black girl. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I'll see you guys again tomorrow." So when I went there today, the dentist actually did my my two impressions because I had to retake the first one and the second one and they came out perfect they need to retrain old girl they waste the money I'm like y'all you guys are wasting money you're wasting supplies you know this one y'all need to train her or uh cut her to the curb she wasn't very personable either she was kind of rude customer service so anyway got that all done super excited so last night I spent about uh Oh my God, I don't know. Count, ow, stop, stop, stop. Countless hours, um, video, watching videos on YouTube and reading blogs about Invisalign. So the main thing that a lot of people are t saying is the pain. So apparently you're gonna, a lot of people get have to put these little bumps on their teeth, I guess, to keep the, the brackets, not the brackets, the, uh, the trays in place. And I asked my dentist about that today and she said it's mainly used for Bella, 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 Bella. Bella. You're getting out of control. Okay? Out of control. Um, get down. Good girl. They um have to use down. Get down. They have to use the trays. They have to use the bumpers to um a lot of times they put those in your if you have like overcrowding or like a big underbite or have to do a lot of like readjustment, they have to use those bumpers um for the aligners so she said 90 percent of the chance time 90 percent chance that i won't need that because they're just simply closing up spaces like my teeth are pretty aligned they're just like closing up space i don't have overcrowding or you know a 
undercrowding or whatever. Um, so I'm a little excited about that. However, I'm still prepared. Um, and they said that those bumps can um, scratch the inside of your mouth and it's very painful along with the fact that your gum line is going to be inflamed. So I don't need to <laughs> be feeling like a werewolf has attacked the inside of my mouth. So I went to Walmart and I bought some stuff and I'll show you guys what I bought. And I also read too that um, people have uh, taken the soft side of... Um, of like a fingernail file, not the gritty side, but the soft side. And they've used it to where, when, when you get your, your liners to kind of buff away the rough edge, um, as well as kind of smooth out any, um, rough roughness that's on these bumps that you might have to get. And I brought that up to my dentist to see if that was a good idea. And she said that was actually pretty good idea she had never heard of that she was probably going to recommend it to her you know her, her clients whenever they come in if they start having um complaints of pain like that so I was I was happy about that you know I asked her about all the stuff I read and I'm a nurse and I know I hate when my patients are like I was reading on the internet about and here I am in the dentist's office like you know last night I was reading um she was kind of giving me this look like really so anyway she was actually surprised about that and she was she was like I'm happy you shared that so I'm gonna share it with you guys um so let me just show you what I got in my little bag real quick um I like to sew on the side this is a side note I like to sew so I got this little idea that I'm gonna make like a little cute um makeup bag kind of like the the boxy kind and keep it in my purse with all my little um uh, like my little dental kit, I guess I'm gonna call it. Cause apparently with these Invisalign, you know, you gotta take them out when you eat and put them back in. And you're gonna be brushing your teeth like 72 times a day. I can barely remember to brush my teeth before I go to bed at night. I do remember in the morning, <laughs> at nighttime, if I fall asleep on the couch, you know, I don't know. So I'm trying to prepare myself. If I'm better prepared for the situation, I think I will have a better experience. Um, so I'm preparing myself, I'm preparing you guys too. Um, so I'm gonna make this little cute little DIY bag um, and put this stuff in there. So I went to Walmart today and this is what I bought. I'm gonna show you guys real quick then I'm gonna sign it off. This Aura Gel stuff, um, mouth sores and it's triple medicated and it has, you know, um, like benzocaine and stuff like that, that you can um, put on, put in, you know, wherever it's aching. Um, so I have this, like I said, Preparation is key. Piss poor performance or something leads to poor preparation or seven Ps. I don't know. I used to know that when I was in college. I don't know it anymore. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> um, piss poor preparation leads to piss poor performance or something like that. I don't know. So anywho, prepare. Got this. And then I have um, a little um, travel tooth toothbrush or toothpaste rather and you know what I really didn't need to buy this because every time I go to the dentist they always give me travel kits with um a goodie bag with toothpaste floss and a toothbrush in there and I usually keep it for my guests when you know my family or somebody comes over and they decide to spend a night or whatever then they have that so I really didn't need to buy this but honestly I just wanted to buy something so here we go about that and then I brought travel toothbrush um and I like this because it folds in itself so it takes up less space um you don't have to worry about getting a, a k you know a, uh, a cover for your for your bristles part because it just folds in itself and um i actually like this and I'm, i got another one to put in my gym bag um and then i brought this oh it's so cute look at it it's so cute and then i got this so i can refill you know as this tends to get empty um so i have all that and i have like i said i have floss i already bought that and I didn't spend money on that because I already had that. Um, so I'm super excited about this. So hopefully you guys will have learned something from this if not have been enter entertained for 14 minutes. Uh, and I will see you guys when I get my trays.